So in this example, we're going to show how to calculate the center of gravity and we're going to keep the geometry of the body to relatively simple. And for the example we have, we have two rectangular sections that are joined together to form a composite body. So we have section one and section two. Section one has a mass density of 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. That's roughly the weight of water. And section two, rho two equals 3,000 kilograms per meter cubed. So for comparison purposes, the mass density of concrete would be 2,400 kilograms per meter cubed. So body two is heavier than concrete. Okay, let's put some dimensions on this body now. So we have that the height of body one is four meters. And the height of body two is two meters. And then... We have the width of body one is two meters. And the width of body two is five meters. And for this example, we're gonna consider that the out of plane distance is one meter. So I'll quickly sketch it. So we can imagine going out in a third dimension where both boxes have a unit dimension. So this dimension here would be one meter. Okay, so what we want to do at the end of this example is find out where the equivalent weight of the composite structure is. So what the weight is and then where we would expect this weight to be acting. And for this example, we're just gonna consider the distance x bar. So what we need to do to begin the example is calculate the weights that we have. So weight one. And so to calculate a weight, we have to have the mass density times the volume, which gives us mass, and times gravity, which then mass times gravity equals force. So let's just remind ourselves, rho equals kilograms per meter cubed. The volume is meter cubed, and gravity is so an acceleration is meters per second squared so but we can see that the meter cubed cancel out so we have kilogram meter second squared which is a newton it's always worthwhile doing a unit check like that so we have rho vg so for the first box, number one, we have that row one was 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed, multiplied by the dimensions, which was four meters height times two meters width times one meter out of plane direction, and multiplied by 9.81 meters per second squared, acceleration due to gravity. And we get that that weight is 78,480 newtons. Or 78.5 kilonewtons. Now we're going to do the second box. So the weight of this second box now equals the mass density. 3,000 kilograms per meter cubed. Multiplied by the volume. So we had two meters by five meters and one meter in the out of plane direction 
again multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity and this gets us for the weight of the second box is 294,300 newtons so this is substantially heavier than the first box and the total weight I'll use a subscript pot for total is W1 plus W2 then just the two numbers added together is 372,780 newtons and now we need to find out where this total weight is acting so we have our value for the total weight and now we want to take moments about this bottom left hand corner of weight 1 times this distance and weight 2 multiplied by this distance would be equal to the total weight multiplied by this distance which is the formula that we derive so we have so for calculation for x bar we have w w1 and now looking at our drawing the lever arms we had a total width of two it's a rectangular section so the lever arm to where we're taking moments is one meter and then we have w2 and the lever arm now is two meters gets us to here plus another 2.5 meters to get us to the center that's a total of 4.5 meters so let's just write down 4.5 meters and that should be equal to the total weight multiplied by the lever arm to where this total weight is acting. So we put on, we arrange this formula, we'll take the total weight down below and we get 78480 plus two nine four three hundred multiplied by four point five this was multiplied by one and divided by the total weight which was three hundred and seventy two thousand seven hundred and eighty and that's all equal to x bar and therefore pumping these numbers into the calculator we get that the line of action will be at 3.76 meters from the bottom left hand corner of our box so that distance from here so we'll do a quick sanity check we'll stroll up 3.76 meters so two meters and this was four and a half so somewhere around here so it's actually a little bit closer to the center of box two because box two is significant significantly heavier and now we know where the x coordinate is just to show how it's done we're also going to work out where our y coordinate would be and this is actually a really useful thing to know why is this useful so in many sports there are situations well in motorsports or in soccer football um, where having a low center of gravity is really useful for maintaining balance so you can imagine if you went around a corner in a large lorry that had quite a large load in the back of the lorry that's quite high up that would be really awkward cornering whereas if you're going around in a sports car where the engine and the weight of the person driving the sports car are low to the ground then it's actually more nimble and more stable so knowing 
this y distance, and we'll call it y bar, is actually really useful central gravity calculation. So let's just remind ourselves of the dimensions. We have 4, 2, 5, and 2. So we have 4 meters, 2 meters, 5 meters, and 2 meters. And we had rho equals 1,000, rho equals 3,000. And now we're going to do exactly the same procedure, but we're going to consider our weights acting in the x direction. It kind of sounds strange because gravity acts in the downward direction. But as we've said before, central mass, central gravity are exactly the same quantity in a constant gravity field. So we're actually wanting to calculate what's called the centre of mass. This is what's really useful for sports. Okay, so let's write down, taking our moments about this point here in the y direction, we know this distance here is one metre, and we know this distance here is two metres. So we have... W1 multiplied by H1 on 2, which was 2 meters, plus the W2 multiplied by H2 upon 2, which was 1 meter, must be equal to the total weight multiplied by the distance, the y distance to where the total weight would be acting. And we can rearrange this and we can substitute the numbers for the known values that we have. So y bar equals, so we have weight one, which was seven, eight, four, eighty times two plus weight two, which was Two nine four three zero zero, and that's going to be multiplied by one, and divide by the total weight, which was three seven two seven eighty, and perform calculation, and you get y bar is one point two one meters upwards, and again. The centre of gravity we would for this box would be two meters. The centre of the centroid would be two meters up, and the centre of gravity for this box would also be two meters up. Uh, the centroid and centre of gravity of this box on its own would be one meter up, but because the weight of this box or the mass density of this box is so much bigger than the first box that we find that the center of gravity runs out just at 1.21 meters up.